working for one of the largest real estate firms in Texas has taken me to some pretty remote and beautiful places. I needed the ability to charge my equipment while on the go without the need to return to civilization for an electric plug. This mobile charging unit is a relative inexpensive and easy project to assemble that you can do at home. And here's how. This is my mobile charging system that I've been using now for the past year and I've finally had some time that I thought I'd share with you how this whole system works. This is the heart of it. It's a 150 watt solar panel. It's a flexible panel. I realize there's a debate on the lifespan of a flexible solar panel but uh, this one's lasted me a year and if it does crap out it's no biggie. I'll just simply buy another one. Uh, but it's pretty durable. If I happen to throw something back here, hits it, it's not going to shatter. So that's a plus for me having it in the back of the pickup. Underneath this panel is the battery system and uh, all the electronics charging components. This panel acts like a acts like a shelter for my electronics. I had thought about boxes and racks and a lot of obtrusive things that that would protect the electronics but sometimes the simplest thing is the best and the panel itself acts as a as a roof I've got a strip of metal here that's covered by the lid of my toolbox so if it does rain water goes over the top of the, the panel and if it's a blowing rain the bed of the truck acts like a acts like a wall and keeps my charging component safe. Battery I'm using is a 75 amp hour AGM non-spillable battery. It's held into place by a bungee cord so it's not going to be sliding around busting stuff in the back of the truck. I have a 200 watt AC inverter here. I learned real quickly that if you could stay away from the inverting technology your battery is going to last a lot better so I ended up purchasing a a cigarette plug adapter and wiring it in to the to the battery it's fused as well my charge controller up here is a $15 charge controller bought offline it has a USB two USB ports in the top of it so if I need to charge a phone or another USB type device I can charge it as well and this whole system, even though set up and take down, I can get it in the back of my truck and take it out in less than a couple of minutes. This whole system rarely leaves the bed of my truck. I never charge this battery through household current or household battery charger. It stays here. My charge controller and panel keep this battery serviced. As stated earlier, DC charging is a lot more energy efficient because you're not having to convert from one to another and these battery chargers you can you can get these battery chargers for less than thirty dollars online and something nice about these chargers is they ha usually have two or more leads so you can be servicing two batteries at the same time like if I'm driving between jobs I can keep my batteries charging and I don't have to worry if battery number one's charging or if I need to move the leads over to battery two. Both batteries are charging and when I get to a new location those batteries are ready to go. Another benefit of the panel, these batteries are in the shade so the sun's not beating down on them and getting real hot. Another thing that's benefited me a lot is this ice chest here. This ice chest serves obviously to keep my drinks cool if I'm away from a civilization for a while but this also serves as a great launch pad for the drones it's plastic I can slide it out in the middle of my bed and I get zero magnetic interference and quick and easy takeoffs now rarely do I land on this this is a small landing area so I normally hand catch but a lot of the jobs that we do the brush is real tall and this is the best spot to launch from and it's always available to me right there so this is my mobile charging system 
and it served me quite well. And I know YouTube's a great uh, tool for sharing knowledge, and I thought I would share it with other dronies out there who are working to make a little little money on the side, and hopefully these tips can benefit you as well. So thanks for coming along. We'll see you down the road somewhere.